because your, your gut and your mouth are intertwined like that. So not only did you oil pool and got the bacteria out of here, but you just also got bacteria out of your gut at the same time. talk about oil pulling in depth. I posted a video on one of my um, TikTok pages where I was talking about oil pulling and the benefits of it for your uh, teeth, for your gums, right? But there's so much more that's happening during the process of oil pulling that I wanted to do this particular video and upload it to my YouTube channel because not only are you taking care of your teeth while you're oil pulling, but what you put in your mouth is really being drawn through your tonsils through your lymphatic system to your gut to your joint you know once you put that oil in your mouth and i wanted to explain that more in depth because they have a lot of people that have gut issues in the physical reality and the gut issue might be um, yeast overgrowth it might be bacteria it might be parasites inside of there right and being that you're putting the oil that is anti-parasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial, you're you're really destroying that parasite and you're really destroying that yeast at the same time. Being that you're putting a oil that is anti-inflammatory, if you have irritable bowel syndrome, you're destroying that at the same time. The, okay, so so what I'm saying here is before we get to oil pulling, because I want to show y'all how to do it, but I want to share really the benefits of it. Don't sleep on this, y'all. This is something that's going to stop you from having to go to the dentist. Like, you know how you have your little three, if you have insurance, you have maybe three or four visits for the year where you go get your uh, teeth clean. And you'll find sometimes if you're not oil pulling, you'll find that you have plaque buildup. And a dentist, they're, they're, got, they're not going to tell you the oil pull like I'm about to show you how. They're not going to tell you this because it's going to destroy their business. But oil pulling, when you do it often, maybe if, if, if you just uh, you know don't have any issues, maybe two, three times a week. But if you have like gender dividers, if you have bad breath, if you have uh, thrash on your uh on your tongue, if you have irritable bowel syndrome and, and gout and, and, and all these other issues, you should be doing this every day. You know, when you brush your teeth in the morning and at night, if that's if you do it two times, if you brush two times, you need to oil pull two times. So not only am I gonna show you on this video how to oil pull and how to make your oil pulling um, the most beneficial, I'm only I'm also gonna show you how to use your water pick. To do it that way that way if maybe you're in a rush and you're just brushing your teeth and rinsing with your water pick you'll be able to still get the benefits or if you don't like the consistency of the oil in your mouth you know a lot of people just have just different reasons why they don't want to do things but there's always work around in order for you to get all of these benefits so first of all you got to understand what you're putting in your mouth when you're oil pulling with coconut oil, and I always talk about coconut oil with ha having the four things inside, in, 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 on the label rather. On the label, your four things on your coconut oil is going to be that it's organic. You're going to make sure that it's cold pressed. You're going to make sure there's extra virgin, right? And you're going to make sure that it's unrefined. You want unrefined because you don't want it processed at all. You want the most beneficial, beneficial coconut oil that you could find. And you're going to be able to find this in maybe Walmart by the cooking oil. You can find this. I know they have big tubs at Sam's and Costco's, but pay attention to those big tubs because they'll have two next to each other, but want to be refined and want to be unrefined. So get the unrefined one. You can find it at Whole Foods store. You can find it at, at Amazon online. And most often than not, it's going to probably be the uh, more expensive one. You'll have several, but you, you want the more expensive one because you want the unrefined organic one. You won't go to the dollar store if they have it over there and get you the coconut oil. That's not the place for it because they most often than not don't have the top-notch coconut oil. Now, the coconut oil that I'm talking about is going to be in a solid form. I'm not talking about liquid coconut oil. I'm talking about solid. Coconut oil. Coconut oil looks like this. And I'm showing this because some people just don't really know some things. 
Everybody is in different places in your journey. I know most of you all know what coconut oil look like, but some people just don't. Like, what is coconut oil? Where you get it from? And, and you know, what kind? So that, that covers all of those questions. What kind? Where you get it from? And so to make your coconut oil, first I want to share what, you, what coconut oil does. Coconut oil is anti-inflammatory. So if your gums are inflamed, your, your insides are inflamed. And the reason why I'm saying your insides is because your, your gut, your, your gut and your stomach are I mean, in your mouth are connected, right? So, like, the tongue is a mirror to your stomach. So, if your tongue has been compromised with yeast and stuff, it's telling you, hey, down here, there's a whole bunch of yeast and parasites and stuff, and I need you to take care of it. So, I'm going to show it to you on your tongue. So, when you open up your mouth, you'll see this condition that your body is in and that we're fighting to save your life. But we're going to need you to get some things, like maybe coconut oil down here really, really quick because it's getting out of hand. Your body, all its infinite intelligence is always telling you, it's always communicating to you what's wrong with it. So if your tongue or is, is like that, if you have bad breath or whatever, and maybe you don't even smell your breath no more because you done took out your tonsils. A lot of people take their tonsils out or, you know, told that that's the best thing to do. When the tonsils is tied to your lymphatic system, helping you drain all of the mucus and all of the acids, when your tonsils is the, is the indicator that once you put something acidic in your mouth or something that has bacteria, something in it or not good for you, for you or toxic, your tonsils are supposed to grab a hold to that thing. Maybe they'll become swole, but that's what they do. When they have something in them, they'll become a little swole. They'll be like, okay, I got it. I got that bacteria. Okay, now I want you to give me something <laughs> like an astringent type, something like some key limes, like some coconut oil. Help me get this down out of you. And it got to travel all the way inside of you to your kidneys. And then I'm going to urinate it out for you because I'm your backup. I'm here to save your life. But some people don't have their tonsils. So now they have to go through another pathway. Their mucus has to um, come out other ways. They get congested and they can't even they can't even smell. They probably can't even taste no more, you know, because they took that out. I'm encouraging you to keep your tonsils, baby, and learn the stringent um, fruit that could help you drain your lymphatic system the proper way. The reason why they swell they swell up sometimes is because they are doing their job, and that's normal. That's normal. What other oil? than coconut oil. You could use an um, a extra version though, an extra version olive oil. If you don't like coconut oil or if you, you know, you have something against it or can't tolerate the, the feeding of it in your mouth, use avocado oil. The avocado oil still has the beneficial um, ability to draw because it's an oil in itself. But what you're going to do with that oil already, now with coconut oil already, you have anti-inflammatory inside your coconut oil you have antiviral you have antimicrobial you have anti-parasitic anti-fungal <laughs> you see so coconut oil is all of the antis already by itself right um avocado i mean olive oil is is like that too but being that it's a thicker oil I believe it's more, I know to be true that it's more anti-inflammatory and more soothing than the olive oil. But if, like I said, it's still, um, anti olive oil is still antibacterial and antimicrobial. And it, it provides the um, body with a lot of uh, vitamin E as well. So anyway, you got your coconut oil. Then on top of that, because I'm, I'm teaching you how to do it where you don't have to go to the dentist no more. I'm teaching you how to do it where you got what you done cleaned up your uh, gut and you done lubricated your joints. On top of that, this is a product on my website called the Alchemist Oil. The Alchemist Oil is an oil that's mixed with clove and oregano. Now, for those of you who don't know, prior to this dentistry type um, blow up where everybody just go to the dentist and get all their teeth pulled and, and you know, they get all these feelings and all that. Clove was the oil of choice to prevent all kind of dental issues. Clove has a numbing effect. Clove is also antiviral, antifungal, antimicrobial. They used to use clove in dentistry, but the dentist not going to tell you nothing about no clove because that's going to put him out of business. 
inside of here, not only if it's not only is it clothing here, but it's also oregano. Oregano will freshen your breath. Oregano is very powerful. The this is the most potent, powerful oregano. I can't by myself right now open up this bottle and drop this here on my tongue. Why I can't? Because it has to be diluted. It has to be diluted in your olive oil or in your coconut oil. Because clove oil by itself at this potency, it'll burn. It'll give me a burning sensation. Um, it will be equivalent to like putting um, cayenne pepper in my mouth with nothing else. Or bird's eye chili pepper in my mouth with nothing else. But it's going to give me that fresh breath feeding sensation. It's going to soothe. This is going to be the oregano. It's going to soothe my mouth. If I did have inside of my mouth some type of virus, some type of bacteria or whatever, it's going to soothe that, right? These two put together need to be diluted in a carrier oil. This is where your coconut oil and your olive oil come into play at. You're going to put maybe about three, no more than, three is a lot actually, no more than five drops of this here amethyst oil inside of your carrier oil whether you choose coconut oil for your carrier oil or if you don't like coconut oil do olive oil but i personally know that coconut oil has the anti-inflammatory properties that olive oil don't have at that capacity so that's why i recommend coconut oil and so you're going to get a spoon you're going to get a spoon you don't have to be the whole spoon you don't have to put a lot i would say like maybe like a a teaspoon amount you know not a big spoon a teaspoon amount with your five drop no more don't put no more than five drops of the alchemist oil because it's gonna burn your mouth too much right and you're gonna squish that around in your mouth you're gonna you're gonna you're not going to spit this out in your drain only because it's coconut oil and you it solidifies again it's gonna get back into a solid form again and you, you know, in the winter time, you know, you don't want that in your drain, clogging up your drain, you know, with your hair going, porticles going down there. Once the pipes get cold, it's going to be sitting there. So you want to get a little bag when you're doing it. A little plastic bag, a little Walmart bag, whatever. You're going to spit in your bag and then you're going to throw your bag in the trash can. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> this prevents gingivitis. This prevents cavities. This going to prevent bad breath. This is going to clean up your, your joints because you're lubricating now. You, your body needs these healthy fats. This is going to help you get rid of that lactic acid buildup. This is going to help you get rid of that uric acid buildup. Because guess what? As soon as you put it in your mouth, you have lymph fat. The, your lymph nodes are going to get a hold to it and be like, Oh my gosh, this is what we needed to drain such and such a toxin. Even if that toxin wasn't up here, it, 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 maybe the toxin was in the next group of lymph nodes that was underneath your armpit. Or maybe the toxins was in the next group of lymph, lymphatic systems that's supporting your gut. Or the ones that's in the growing area. Wherever the issue is, your lymphatic system needs the coconut oil to begin with. Your lymphatic system needs the oregano oil and the clove oil to begin with. Because they're antiviral, antiparasitic, antimicrobial antifungal so any issue that's inside there you can't go wrong with putting the the alchemist oil inside of your coconut oil concoction that you're all pulling with and so now you got the coconut oil now you got the um um alchemist oil on your spoon you put it in your mouth you want to keep it in your mouth for a good five minutes at least good five minutes so now you could be you could maybe be doing your, your um your eyebrows maybe you could be cleaning out your ears or whatever you do in the morning when you're brushing your teeth maybe you could be lotioning your body or whatever while you're swooshing it in your mouth to make sure that it gets all in your mouth and so what's happening with this oil is the oil has the ability to draw it's drawing that's why they call it oil pulling it's drawing all of these toxins, all of this bacteria, gathering it up, drawing it into your mouth. So you don't want to swallow this. You want all of these toxins to be spit out. You do the oil pulling? Yeah, that's beautiful. You want it to be spit out. And you're going to notice when you spit it out of your mouth, you're going to notice that your teeth 
feels so smooth. Your mouth feels even more fresher. Then you're going to have the scent of the oregano still um, still emitting, rather, in your mouth, still tingling your tongue, still freshening your breath, still killing bacteria because it was inside of your coconut oil too. This here is going to be better than mouthwash as well because mouthwash has alcohol in it. Mouthwash, you cannot swallow. You could get tipsy from mouthwash. So we, don't, we want to get away from the alcohol and get back to the herbs. Get back to herbal oils that will pull the, the toxins out, that will leave you with fresh breath, that will help you with your gut. So now being that you oil pulled at the same time simultaneously, you just pull bacteria out of your gut. You just, you just sent a signal because it was in your mouth and because you have lymphatic systems that, that travel that way. You just sent a signal that it's time to clean up the yeast because your, your gut and your mouth are intertwined like that. So not only did you oil pull and got the bacteria out of here, but you just also got bacteria out of your gut at the same time. You just lubricated your joints as well. You just did something way more beneficial than I think a lot of people understand. But I'm going to move on now to what you could do with your water pit. So some people have a water pit. And so when, you, when you're when you brushing your teeth regularly, I choose to brush with um, with baking soda. And I, bought it, I put it right here, Bob's Red Meal Baking Soda. This is what I brush with. This is a, the purest form of baking soda you can find. And I also put a pinch of this here in my, um, the, you know, the little, um, the little compartment where you can put the water at in the water pit. I put a pinch of this here, uh, baking soda, and a pinch of pink Himalaya sea salt. So let me teach you about that. So now that you put a pinch of pink, and this is what pink, um, pink Himalaya sea salt looks like, just in case nobody, somebody out there don't know what it looks like. You get pink Himalaya sea salt from Walmart. Believe it or not, this one here, come, oh look, this one here came from D&D's, the little clothing store. Uh, you could also get it from like a TJ Maxx, they'd be selling it in the back of the store. A Marshalls, you could get it from Amazon too, you know, um, Costco, Sam, so you know, every, everywhere should have it at this point. They should have some pink Himalaya sea salt at that store where you go. If they don't, you, you, you need to go to another store. <laughs> I look, I do stores where they don't be having stuff like that for health and wellness. I'd be like, you know what? I ain't coming back here no more. But anyway, you put the pink pinch of pink Himalaya sea salt in the um, compartment on the water pick where you put your water at that you're going to be rinsing your mouth at. So you got your pink Himalaya sea salt in the water that you're going to be rinsing with your water pick. You got a pinch of baking soda, which is the purest form with no aluminum inside of it. And now you're going to put inside of that compartment on your water pick, two or maybe three drops of the alchemist oil. So now when you're water picking, rinsing between your teeth, now you're getting rid of the bacteria in your mouth. Now you're getting rid of whatever is infecting your gums. But check this out, what you're also doing. And you making... The orange look good. Oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> thank you. So um, now, check this out what you're doing. Not only by putting that inside of your water pick, these three things in your water pick, now your gut, now your gut, you're increasing hydrochloric acid because you have added pink Himalayan sea salt in your water pick. So not only are you out bringing your saliva to an alkaline state of being, which pink Himalaya increases the um, alkalinity of your saliva, your saliva on a healthy person needs to be more alkaline. And <laughs> that's a proper pH balance for it. So this here is going to give you your electrolytes, electrifying your body. Your, 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 um, your tonsils need this here. They need this saline solution that's going to be created when you put pink Himalaya sea salt in your water pit. They need this here to uh, baking soda with no aluminum, the purest form of baking soda, because it's antifungal. You know how um, you put the baking soda in the refrigerator and it gets rid of the, the stench? 
oh, okay, well, the same thing will happen when you put it, it in your water pick and rinse with it. It's going to get rid of the stench of your bad breath. It's going to, you killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So now you get rid of the stench in your, your mouth. Now your saliva is alkaline. Now the gut, the gut. You have hydrochloric acid in your gut now because you put it in your mouth and the gut and the mouth is intertwined. Now, since you have both of these going on, you have something to break down your food because the hydrochloric acid, if you are overeater, if you are obese or whatever, if you're not a healthy eater, now you got some hydrochloric acid from the salt that you put in the in your water pick solution that you rinse in your mouth out that saline solution that's also helping you with your sinus issues so if you didn't don't have your tonsils no more guess what you need your sinus issues to be released in another pathway and that's going to be through your nose now so now mucus since you have a saline solution in your mouth mucus now can come through your nose that backup that you have from taking your tonsils out it can come out another way because now you didn't gave your body <laughs> would it need it okay so I, I really want you all to know that <laughs> it's more than me just saying like everybody else oh, they, oh you got an oil bowl for you you know breath fresh breath you know this is don't want you to know about it no you need all pull for your help too you need all pull for your gut thank you for the follow baby hey thunder welcome over here babe you need the oil pull for your help for your gut, for that yeast and parasite, for that, for that, you know how people that eat the sausage sandwich and three days later they still belching the hot sausage sandwich up. <laughs> I'm gonna share this with my son because he had his removed. Thank, thank you. So there's hope for those who who had their tonsils removed. So you know how people on a third day they still belching because they still have that hot sausage sandwich sitting on their on their stomach because they don't have no hydrochloric acid hey molly molly thank you for being here they don't have the hydrochloric acid needed to break down the hot sausage sandwich that's why it's still sitting in there so so this is what you do this is in case you just get here you put in a pinch of the pink himalaya sea salt a pinch of baking soda by bob bread um by bread meal i did not say almond hammer don't you put no almond hammer up in there I did not say go to cheap route. This here gonna be maybe about eleven dollars, maybe. I know almond hammer might be a little nine nine cent. Yeah, it's the cheap kind. But we're not gonna do the cheap kind with our help though. We're gonna go to we're gonna go online on Amazon because because you don't find this in, the, in some of the Whole Food stores don't even have this here all the time when I go. So I just gave up on even looking for it on, at the stores. You gonna go on Amazon and put it in your cart over there because you need these two in your water pit. You need these three in your water pick. You got your antifungal right here in your baking soda. You got your pH balancer. It's going to increase the alkalinity in there. It's going to get rid of the bad um, smell in your mouth. I like hot sausage sandwich, y'all funny. <laughs> hey, Duke, you like them, huh? <laughs> yeah. How many times are we supposed to do your method? If you don't have your tonsils in your mouth, you need to be doing this every day for at least maybe two weeks and then you can cut back because you backed up already you backed up already but if you and another person that another group of people that need to do this here every day is if you have like gingivitis like right if 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 your teeth falling out if you if you have halitosis right yeah um who else would need to do this if if, if you have sinus issues too because this this saline solution gonna drain your sinuses. If you have uh, irritable bowel syndrome, in the first, you know, you gotta get it going in your system. So I would say the first two weeks, keep doing it every day until you feel that mucus releasing and coming up. And you gonna feel it. You might feel it in your throat when you. And so the next morning when you wake up, you are gonna, you know how they hawk up. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have did the sounds. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? When people get up in the morning, they kind of, kind of clear their throat. You gonna, you gonna, that's, that's this here working. When you wake up the next morning and you have to bro blow your nose first day in the morning, that's this here working. You know, we gotta, we gotta, we, <laughs> we know. <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, that's this here working. What's in the bottle? The bottle is alchemist oil. 
The in the bottle is the alchemist oil. It's clove and oregano, the most powerful form of oregano that you can find. And clove, which they used to use in dentistry to protect your teeth, to avoid you getting um, plaque buildup, to keep you with breath with fresh breath. This is antiviral, antifungal, antimicrobial, antiparasitic. Yeah. And so in conjunction with 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 um with oil pulling, you could do both of them. You could do the oil pulling. Or you can put, just put these three things here in your water pick. Or you can do both of them if, if you really feel like you have these stomach issues, sinus issues, and you want to alleviate it as soon as possible for like two weeks. And then cut back and do it every maybe, you know, three times a week or whatever. Or maybe every other day. I personally, I personally don't have no cavities. I don't have no, every time I go to the dentist, they always telling me that everything looks good. They don't have no, when I used to go though, they used to have plaque buildup before I started doing this. Yeah, they, they don't, I don't have no cavities, no, no, no halitosis, no bad issues, no fungus, no thrash. You know, my tongue is pink. You don't have no coating on it. None of that stuff because I do this here because I do this here. And I want to share this with you because it's going, it's going to save you some money. It's going to save you from getting cavities in your teeth pulled out. It's going to save you for um, getting uh, root canals and all that because it's penetrated in your gums. It really don't be about your teeth. It be the integrity of your gums. And so when, you, when you're brushing your teeth, make sure you're brushing your gums. When you use your water pick, make sure you are putting that water pick downward so it can go in the crease and crevices of your gums. It's about your tongue and your gums in your mouth because that plaque and buildup is coming from out there. Your gums are saying, help me. Make sure that I'm in balance. You could order this here, um, Alchemist Oil, from my website. The link is in my bio. The link is in my bio for the Alchemist Oil. So uh, I'm going to do a recap for those of you who came in late. Wait, my phone, this other phone back here dying. Let me... Let me put a charger to it right quick. I'm going to do a recap. Let me charge this up right quick. Give me one second. I just had it. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry my phone was dying. I'm coming. Here, let me fix myself. Oh, come on here, you. Come on. All right. Y'all see my, look my bags up and everything. All right, we back. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, like, lucky. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for being here. Your tea is beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You just came from, I just came from your other live. Oh, okay, cool. Can you leave in the comments a list of all of the things you have? Uh, you could check them out on my website, but, um, hmm, where could I leave it? I can post it on my YouTube channel. When I upload this video to my YouTube channel, look up in the description on that video and I'll put it there. So, to do a recap for those of you who came in late, and my phone was dying and I had a little interruption for those of you who got that interruption. We're talking about coconut oil, oil pulling with coconut oil. So oil pulling with coconut oil, these are the two things you need. You need coconut oil, which is in this tub. You need unrefined, cold pressed, extra virgin coconut oil. And make sure it's organic. You want those four things, unrefined, organic, cold press extra virgin coconut oil then you want the alchemist oil the alchemist oil is available on my website www.soldiertpub.org my website is in the link is in my bio you click on my picture and you'll see the link on my profile for the alchemist oil inside of the alchemist oil you have clove and oregano oil clove is what they used to use in denture dentistry and they don't want to tell you that it heals your gums, that it's going to reverse that cavity. that Because it'll put them out of business. And respectfully, I could understand that, right? 
but they'll tell you at the dentist's office when you go get your cleaning there's nothing you can do to prevent plaque buildup it's just gonna happen that is a lie they are lying to you this is something you can do you can oil pull I'm telling you what you need to do but you don't want to just use coconut oil by itself because you want to some of these viruses and parasites they're they're so smart and savvy like right just like for example a virus has a lipid coating around it it's a barrier where sometimes certain certain medicines can't even penetrate through that barrier but guess what oil can penetrate through that barrier and cause that lipid coating to explode coconut oil that's why you want to use this one here as your carrier oil these oils inside of here are really really powerful and you need this carrier oil to accompany it because by itself it'll tingle your mouth so much it's aching to having cayenne pepper or burst eye chili pepper in your mouth but at the same time it's going to freshen your breath it is the best mouthwash that you're going to be consuming because it don't have the alcohol it has herbs clove and oregano that's going to help you with more fungus more bacteria so it's like you're ganging up on the parasites it's like you're ganging up on the fungus right it's like you're ganging up you're ganging up three different ways so that way whatever whatever yeast or parasite or fungus that that, that don't uh, react or respond to the coconut oil you're saying okay you didn't respond to that I got oregano for your ways okay you didn't respond for that I got clothes for your ass. You're going to die today. You're going to stop living inside of me <laughs> and tearing up my gut and tearing up my joints and, and clogging up my lymphatic system. You're going to stop today because I'm ganging up on you. You see what I'm saying here? That, that's the logic behind these three. You'll find, just like, just like with medication, you'll find that your body, or better yet, these parasites and viruses and stuff, they get used to certain things like you ever hear a person like oh i tried da 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 and it just stopped working for me that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about wait let me check these messages here let's see thank you so much you are so welcome you're glowing oh thank you no toothpaste well i personally don't use toothpaste no more this is my toothpaste i brush my teeth with this here but i have this water pig that i got from I think it was Marshall's I got this water pick from. It's $99. And so it has the little compartment to put some water in it. It has the water pick with different heads. And it had a toothbrush. You know, the little circular toothbrush. Well, I have a little container in my bathroom. A little small one ounce container with a little bit of this here baking soda in it. And I just stick my, my little round head toothbrush, you know, because it, you know, it's electric. And I stick it in the baking soda. And I brush my gums and I brush my teeth with the baking soda. I don't use toothpaste no more. I, I used to, they had this good one. They had um, Sarasop, I mean, not Sarasop, um, sarsaparilla root and, and all kind of slippery elm and stuff. It was really, really good and organic. I used to use it, but I found that my teeth got white. I just used baking soda. I found that it was just easier and more simple just using baking soda. And it's something that the first couple of days you got to get used to because it's like, mm, it don't taste good. You know, it don't have the minty taste like, you know, the toothpaste did, right? But after about three or four days, I realized that it was cleaning my teeth way better than the toothpaste did. And it was a toothpaste without fluoride, you know, and no, no foaming agents. It was just real pure, good toothpaste. But... Baking soda, even for people that know anything about skin, the estheticians or whatever, they know that this here is like, it, it could actually exfoliate your, your face, you know, and clear your, your acne, baking soda, right? And so I, just, so I use logic behind that. So it, it's really getting the yellow off of your teeth. It's really, baking soda by itself, it's really whitening and brightening your teeth, leaving your saliva in a, in a more alkaline range. It's getting rid of fungus because it's antifungal. It's helping freshen your breath alone by itself. You might not think that because it don't taste like nothing. But when I started putting my, um, my alchemist oil, drops of my alchemist oil inside of my water pick, I ain't care about the toothpaste no more because at the end of the whole brush cycle, the, um, the baking soda don't taste like nothing, but when I go to rinse with my water pick and I have the alchemist oil in it, 
man, that's fresher than my whole breath. My all my my nostrils, my head, everything wide open because I'm using the world's most powerful antioxidant in my water pick, which is clove. I'm using the most potent um, oregano oil that you could ever find. This ain't just regular oregano. <laughs> they 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 um they label or rate oregano oils to the highest quality. This is the highest quality oregano oil that you can find. <laughs> yeah. Where where have you been? Thank you, universe, for this resource for sharing. Yeah, la la, I wanted to share. I wanted to share. I agree. So true. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me the name of your channel? We'll subscribe to you. Thank you so much. The name of my YouTube channel is Salt of the Earth Publishing. And it's also in my bio. So if you click on my picture, I that black triangle will send you directly to my YouTube channel. Salt of the Earth Publishing. Yes, yes. All right. So what else? What's your website? My website is www.saltoftheearthpub.org. That's in the link of my bio too. What's something natural to apply to face? We're applying something natural to face for what though? For to wash your face? I wash my face with my soap. I make soap. It's called Be Nourished. That's the only thing that I wash my face with. I used to use my Be uh, Blemish Free Clean um, Oil rather to uh, get rid of blemishes or whatever. But when my blemishes went away and my diet improved, I don't really use the blemish free oil much unless I want to kind of like smell it because it smells good. <laughs> but it worked for me, and so I just stick to after um, my blemishes cleared, I just stick to just washing my face with my soap. I don't let nothing else get on my body. I don't put nothing else on my body that I don't make. So if I want to smell good, believe it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not, if I want to smell good, this is what I've been putting on to smell good. This is called Be, Be Longer. This is the woman's scent. Be Longer. And you know what this is? This is actually a hair growth oil. <laughs> I put it in my hair, though, you know, for my hair to grow and, you know, and to get rid of dandruff and all of that good stuff that it does for the hair. But it smells so good because I have oils, essential oils up in here that's aphrodisiacs. So when I want to smell good, I put my be longer. I have it on my chest right now, on my hand and everything, because I just got out the uh, shower. And so when I want my face to be uh, clear, here it is right here. Blemish free oil. That's available on my website. If you can see, because the phone, the camera not focusing good. Okay, yeah, that's it. And so, and then when I want to brush my teeth, I use the, the um, Bob Red Mill baking soda to brush my teeth with. If I'm rinsing it, I go back to my stuff because I don't make no um, baking soda. That's, a, that's something that I don't make. <laughs> Not yet. Because <laughs> I like, I trust me. I trust me because I educated myself. I've been doing this here for over 10 years. This is a lifestyle. I ain't just telling y'all something, you know, that I just thought about yesterday. And so when I'm brushing my teeth, I do my oil pulling. I told you what I put in my pick, my pink Himalaya sea salt, my baking soda, and my alchemist oil. When I'm shampooing my hair, I shampoo my hair with my shampoo because I want the vitamin C that comes from real citrus fruit. And I want my shampoo to be pH balanced. I don't want no toxic ingredients, no foaming ingredients in my shampoo because the foam does not mean that it is working. The foam means that it is stripping you. The foam means that it's taking away your natural oil. The foam means that there's lye in there, the same ingredient that they put in oven cleaner. When I take my braids out and I wear my hair curly, y'all might see it sometime. Or if I'm flattening, flattening my hair, which actually this week, that's what I'm about to do. Y'all see me in a couple of days with my hair um, flattened. I use my B uh, moisturize to deeply moisturize my hair from being in braids for so long. And it helps my pearl, my, my pearl, my curls pop. When I put on lotion, I use my own lotion, B's body butter. When I put lotion on my legs, this is the one that I use. This is the one with shea, but I also have one that is with um, coconut oil as the main ingredient but this main ingredient in this one here is going to be shea when i when it's every six months to a year i use my own detoxing um supplements which is sustained detox 
or if I feel like I have, like I'm on a fast right now and I did use this here two weeks of my fast for parasite cleansing. It's called um, Quit Bugging Me. It's a parasite cleanse that I've been using on my fast. And with my parasite cleanse, I would also incorporate my um, alchemist oil, these two together, because the alchemist oil is going to help to get rid of, like I said, um, parasites. It gives rid of the eggs and the larva, like right. This here, quit bugging me, get rid of large worms. So when your booty itching and you have to hold your booty cheeks together sometime, when your stomach gets swollen sometime, you know, when, um, when you feel a tingling sensation, a crawly sensation in your skin or something like that, when you have a high amount of mucus that you have to cough up in the morning, when you snoring at night, that these are signs that you got um some type of parasites up in there that you need to do a detox. You change the oil on your car, well, you gotta change your clean out the lymphatic system every now and then too. So, so you wanna start cleaning it out with sustained detox first to make sure all of your opening, your pathways are open first because it's gonna open up that lymph that's going to open up that bowel and kidneys and all of that to release all fecal matter and clear out your lymphatic system. But then you want to come back and deal with parasites. Don't go calling yourself getting no parasite clean from nobody, not even me, without opening up the pathways because parasite cleanse actually dehydrates the parasite, kill them on contact, and you don't want to have die off effect and be walking around with dead parasites, dead worms inside your body. And you ain't open up the pathways first to get it, by, get it up out of there. You're going to be hella tired, hella sick, and hella uncomfortable if you do it that way. I didn't tell you to do it that way. If you do it somebody up with somebody else, you do what they say. But when you come over here, don't have ass it and say that I told you. Because I always give you detailed information on how to get rid of parasites by opening up the pathways first and then trying to tackle the parasites. So you don't get sick. So you didn't hear that that wrong information from me if you did that to yourself. But if you did do it to yourself, you can change it by hydrating yourself, by drinking a lot of um, citrus type fruits like coconut water, like key lime aid. And you make key lime aid with key limes, squeeze small limes, not the lime without the seed, the small green lime. Squeeze that in some spring water. You could put up in there a little sprinkle of your sodium bicarbonate, a little sprinkle of your pink Himalaya sea salt, and sweeten it with agave. Now you got key lime aid, and that's going to help you make a gallon of it for you and your family. That could be your new key, uh, Kool-Aid in the refrigerator for you and your family, so you and your family can open up your lymphatic system. Go to the grocery store every now and then, the international markets, and buy for you and your family some seeded grapes. These are like astringent type fruit that's going to open up that lymphatic system, pull all of the acids, that lactic acid, that uric acid, the acids and um, mucus from your toxic diet, from maybe some old cosmetics or some old shampoos and the old perm and that old marker that you put on your skin that old glue that you used to put on your fingers when you was a little girl that old uh, toxic lotion that, that old vaseline that old mineral oil all of those things that you put on your skin that wasn't really beneficial for your skin your lymphatic system every day was helping you to get rid of it because your lymphatic system it's like your back up to your blood. And so when you put stuff on your skin, it penetrates inside of your body. And your lymphatic system is running around trying to make sure your blood is clean. So when you go to the doctor and they're telling you that your blood work is good, that's because of your lymphatic system. But today you need to make sure that your lymphatic system is good because it's backing up your blood. And this is how you make sure that it is good. All sickness and diseases can be actually, I don't want to say that word on this line because they'll probably shut me out but it can be you know fill in the blank it can be if you give your body the right thing for it to be eliminated y'all hear me <laughs> all right so yeah i make all natural products so check out that website okay oh i am 
into that one already. Let me look at these. I agree. So it's true. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been right here. Where have you been? You wasn't ready yet. And so I couldn't come until you got ready. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you to get ready. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many drops? Lala said, how many drops? Um, I put on here, on the instructions, it actually say uh, five drops. On the instructions, five drops of the alchemist oil. Five drops. Don't exceed five drops. Don't think you gangster, gangster. I'm telling you, it's going to burn your mouth. Try with three and maybe move up with to five, but never use more than five when you're all bully. Never use more than five. Now, let me tell you something else about this alchemist oil, too. I'm talking about internal. You can use this for external, too. Externally, remember how I told you that we had a numbing sensation? Clove, the clove in here has a numbing sensation. So you got the gout. Your lymphatic system is clogged up where your feet swole. You're, you got a pain in your in your um in your knee, in your chest, you got bronchitis issues. Oh baby, use the same technique with your coconut oil. Put your five drops of um your alchemist oil on there and rub that thing on your chest. Yeah, you want to penetrate in through your skin, which is your largest organ. Sometimes we're not absorbing and eliminating because our stomach is so chaotic, but you could you you could you could beat that. You could jump on the other side of that by going to your skin. Then your skin is going to deliver it to where, where it really needs. So you can use this. Matter of fact, my um, Be Nourish, the Be Nourish um, soap that I was telling you about that's available on my website that I wash my face with. The active ingredient is the alchemist oil. If you look at the, even, even, even for the, um, uh, be cleansed and conditioned. The active ingredient is the alchemist oil. Because I know this work, I put it in here. This is what I, I created. I didn't create this initially for y'all now. I created this here for my family. And I know this here works, right? So in creating it, I want me and my family to have the most powerful shampoo and conditioner for our head to get rid of dandruff and any type of fungus and dry scalp. And to open up that um, pathway for those hair follicles to come out and to detox my head, you know. So the active ingredient in Be Cleansed and Condition and my soap called Be Nourished for Women and Be Nourished for Men is going to be this al um, alchemist oil. Now for the men and the women's soap, the difference in the two is that I incorporated herbs for libido help in the soap called be nourished the herbs for um libido help and blood flow for the men because you know i'm trying to keep the men you know active trying to keep their blood flowing because you know what a, what is the erection blood flow so i'm trying to purify that blood through the herbs the choice herbs and the citrus fruit that i use in their soap and so women's health is um is about their herbs is more or less for balancing harm um, um their hormone and for calming, you know, because when women's uh, hormones are out of balance, then they get a little chaotic, you know, with, with, with their energy. <laughs> I'm like trying to calm them. Yeah, well, chill out. <laughs> thank you. I will be ordering your detox and more this week. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is that Lackey? Yeah, Lackey. I think it is right there. What is the um, shelf life on the soap? The shelf life on the soap is two months. Two months. Two months, yeah. That's a good question, Molly Mo. Okay, so let's see. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the life thing. Is there a certain water? Well, the certain water to drink, I'm assuming that you're asking, Lala. The certain water will be spring water. You could go to the store and get them cases of natural spring water. The crystallizer, if you know about that one. They, they may have the, maybe the deer parks, if you know about that one. The Polands, if you know about that one. It don't really matter which brand of spring water that you pick. I say that because it's more important that you have spring over reverse osmosis, though. It don't matter who made it. Just get the spring over the reverse osmosis and over the distilled water. And with the spring package water, and it's going to save you money, and it's going to be aching or even better than the expensive 
alkaline waters out there. You're going to put your pinky, pinky molasses salt in your spring water, the case. You're going to open up all of the bottles when you get home. And you're going to put a pinch of pinky molasses salt up in there. And you're going to put a little microdose pinch of um, the baking soda up in there. And now you got alkaline water. Now you got your spring water that you just alkaline. Now you have electrolytes. Because electrolytes is coming from the minerals that's inside of that peak Himalaya sea salt. Now you have hydrochloric acid. Now you have antifungal. Now you have like a saline. You have soft water. Now the water not hard on your kidneys. With all of them acids that your kidneys working on, your kidneys also need alkalinity to kind of like soothe and allow those kidney stones to pass through. Now, even this is even good for your liver. Now those those gall stones, the stones, they're stones because they're acids. They're stones because they're rough and tough. So you need soft water. So now you just soften your water. Think about a water softener in your house. It softens your water. How does it work? Because it has natural salts in the bucket by the, the unit that's softening your water. You need soft water so these stones and gallstones can pass through you. So these kidney stones can pass through you. Okay? Soft water. You saved you a whole bunch of money. I'm going to send you your copay bill. <laughs> I'm going to send you your copay because the doctor ain't going to tell you that there. I just told you. First time here. Very interesting. Hey, Infinite Peace. I like that name. Okay, so um, do you drink a certain water or does it even matter? Nope, it don't matter. Sometimes I see the crystal geyser and then they got another water. I forgot the name. I just moved out here. They got another name out here in Arizona. But I just make sure I turn that sucker around. You look at the ingredients. You turn that sucker around on them little bottle waters that you buy in. And you just make sure that them ingredients say it's free. That's it. You roll on out, you get that one, and you save you some money, and you manipulate your water because guess what? Your God and all you're supposed to be doing here in the physical reality is manipulating energy. So you manipulate the energy of that water that fits your budget. You take it home and you create life with it. You bring life to it, and we, how you bring your life? You bring your alkalinity to it. You see what I'm saying? That's how you bring in life. You bring in minerals to it. You bring in life to the water. And so now when your children go, because my children <laughs> tell me all the time. Why, why is it that every time I want something, it's already open? Because I don't already manipulate the energy of it. That's, the, that, I remember when I went to the store, I bought that refrigerator. So that means I could manipulate, <laughs> I could manipulate the energy of everything in the refrigerator. So they, they just know I'm manipulating energy over here. I ain't doing nothing hurt you. We gonna manipulate this energy though. You gonna get the best out of this here water though, and we ain't gonna be broke when we do it either, cause we manipulating the, the energy. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let me see. Let's see. Will this heal your liver? Which one? Well, actually, the coconut oil for all pulling is really really good for the liver. All of these things are good for all of these organs in the body because you're getting your electrolytes, you're getting your minerals. When you're hungry, your body is hungry for minerals, right? I like that. Thank you, thank you. When you're hungry, your body is hungry for minerals, for life force. You're electric being searching for minerals. When, you, when, you're, when you're clogged up, your, your, your body is saying, I'm not eliminating, help me. Coconut oil going to help unclog you. You know what's really, really good for your liver too? That key lime aid that I spoke about. That really, really good for your liver. Because it, it allows whatever is stuck right there in that gallbladder duct, it allows that stuff to be released. It allows, because key limes, it's acidic in your mouth. That's why you should use a straw when you're drinking a lot of it. If you're going to make you a key lime aid for the family, buy a couple of straws. But it's acidic in your mouth. But when it gets inside of you, your body, infinite intelligence, it converts it into an alkaline substance that's beneficial and leaving an alkaline ash. And so sickness and disease cannot live when you have more alkalinity on your side, an alkaline environment. So it's cleaning your liver. It's the astringent, the key lime, the grapes that I'm talking about, the coconut water. That's your go-to when you put in something in you to, to help you with your liver. 
Yeah. And so all three of these things that I'm talking about with the oil pulling process, gonna help your liver too. So you oil pull with these three and you got a gangster um, concoction because oil, when you put the oil in your mouth, it's going to soothe and protect your liver. It's going to soothe and protect your, your stomach, that irritable bowel syndrome, that leaky gut. <laughs> yes, them kidneys. It's all working. If it's going to work for one area, like your mouth and your gut, surely it's going to work for your kidneys too because you were formed from the gut. From the gut. That's where all of them other organs and branches of other things started. What's from the gut? So if it's good for the gut, it's going to be good for the liver, good for the pancreas, good for the spleen, good for the kidney. They all go hand in hand. Yes. You can't go wrong with none of these things. I'm telling you. I would suggest, I would suggest if you have these, these, these sicknesses and diseases, for the first two weeks, do, do both ways. Do the oil pulling and do the um, the water pick if you already if you have a water pick. If you don't have a water pick, I ain't saying go go. You have to go buy. Do the oil pulling and just be religious about it. Save you some money. Do what works for you in the environment and the situation where you're at. But do something. <laughs> don't just sit there and be a, a observer, a hearer of the word that's just sitting there and they may be just typing but not doing because I'm giving you all of the information for you to be good when you get to the doing part. So why not do? Why not do and reap the benefits of it all? So, let's see. Yeah, but another thing that's good for your liver, since you're speaking of liver, that detox is really good for your liver. The sustained detox is good for your liver because it, it, it is really high in um, sarsaparilla and other um, blood healers. Um, they have like seven herbs inside a sustained detox. And when you're dealing with the liver, some other herbs is like um, dandelion. That's something you can get your hands on at, um, at a whole food store they sell dandelion or probably in your backyard a lot of people grow dandelion just as long as you don't have no pesticide that's really really good for your liver burdock root but burdock root is in the sustained detox already so this one here sustained detox is what i'm talking about this one here would be good for the liver to detox the liver and that's the one that i suggest anybody take if they're on a journey of unclogging their um, pathways the sustained will be the first thing what is the ingredients to the key lime drink the ingredients will be um, key limes, of course, spring water, um, agave, that's going to be your sweetener, you sprinkle as much as you'd like. And because I was telling you about the spring waters, I was saying just put a little pinch of the sodium bicarbonate and the pink Himalaya sea salt to make it softer spring, more electrified water than what it is. But you don't have to do them too. Outside of not doing them too, you got your key limes, you got your water, and you got your agave. And that right there by itself equates to key lime aid. And that should be replacing your Kool-Aid. That is going to heal, allow flow in your lymphatic system, which is the back up to your blood. That should be something that you make a gallon of once a week for the family, faithfully. Now that one thing I say you need to go buy. If you don't have a gallon picture, you go to the dollar store and you get you a gallon picture and you find you some key lines at Walmart. They normally come up in a little bag at Walmart. They're the smaller lines with a seed inside of it. I'm talking about seeded key lines. I'm not talking about the big fat round lines with no seed in it. The smaller the bear, the better. Seed <coughs> excuse me seeded key limes agave as a sweetener i did not say white sugar mm -mm, mm -mm. i said agave because that's beneficial bacteria that you're going to need in your seeded key lime aid agave that's going to be your prebiotic for your gut that's going to be the perfect sugar that's going to help you get rid of parasites in your gut and to help you with beneficial bacteria in your gut don't use cane sugar. Don't use coconut sugar. Don't use white sugar. Don't use no sugar but agave. If you do it the other way, don't tell nobody I told you to do that. Because I said agave, key limes, and spring water. Okay? That's going to help you a lot, though. It's life. It's life. I had some yesterday. I didn't have none yet today, but I didn't, I didn't have nothing yet today. Dang, I didn't drink no water yet today. I'm been running my mouth.
Now I'm drinking water. Wait, let me bring. Let me give me some water. Speaking of water, see, this is a kind of crystal guys, and look, it's already been opened. <laughs> you ain't hear no, you ain't hear no um, no clicking, because mm -mm, I've already manipulated this water. All the waters up in here manipulated already. Yours need to be manipulated too. <laughs> Water today, y'all. Give me a second. All right. So I had a little bit of water. All right. Let me look at some more of these comments. How many drops of your oil you put in the water bottle? Um, I don't put the Alchemist oil. This one here. I don't put in my um in my water. I only put the spring, I mean, the uh, sodium bicarbonate and the pink Himalayan sea salt in my water. Another thing you just made me think of, though, I do put this here in my food, like when I'm cooking, like um, when I'm cooking a vegan meal or cooking anything, because my boys, they eat meat. So when I'm cooking for them, I make sure that I put this inside of that meat, chicken, or whatever that I'm making for them. Salmon. I, I, don't, I don't really make but two things for them to eat. And that's salmon and that's chicken. And I don't make that a lot. I probably only do that maybe about four times a year. <laughs> and it's not because I don't know how to cook. Because I really do know how to cook. It's just that I mostly eat fruits and salads and stuff. And right now I'm not eating at all. But... Yeah, I do like leg quarters for them. Oh, and turkey necks sometimes. Turkey necks, salmon, and chicken are the only three meats that I make for them. They don't eat, you know, the beef and the pork and the steak and stuff. And if they do, I don't cook it. But they have their free will to do what they want. But when I cook the meats that, you know, that I clean properly with um, key limes and vinegar, I rinse it and clean it for those of you who... That, that's something also because they have formaldehyde and stuff on the meat so you want to clean your meat properly if you're still eating meat of the things that they spray on the meat to make the meat look like it's still fresh when it's still a dead animal either way but i don't i don't you know judge my boys from you know doing what they want to do that's their journey but i'm going to put i'm going to manipulate the energy though because they had asked me to cook and I, I assume that they had asked me to manipulate the energy and clean the little animal that they about to eat and clean off all of that formaldehyde and stuff and you know clean it as good as I possibly can and put some love energy in that thing so that's what that's what cooking is all about you know oftentimes we we start cooking you know and we doing box meal and we doing fast food but that stuff ain't, ain't made with love energy it's not that energy not being transformed that's what grandma will see this is this is another thing that like we talking about health and wellness and all this stuff but keep in mind keep game i understand that all is mine baby back in the day grandma and big mama they wasn't trying to kill you you wasn't really getting sickness and disease back then because grandma big mama mama whoever auntie was in that kitchen it was cooking from love baby love heals all and so when they was cooking the good intentions was going into what we call soul food but now all of a sudden we're saying soul food is killing our soul yeah because we doing it the box way we doing the half ass way we doing it with trauma we doing it and don't even want to do it no more <laughs> But grandma and them, when they got up in that kitchen and they cooked, they cooked with love. And that love was transferred and it, it filled their soul. You know, it, it touched them, the, the people that they were feeding heart. And so that's what I do. I do. I know what energy is. And so I'm manipulating the energy. And so I put this here, a couple of drops, maybe about five. Like, like I say, I don't really believe in that five, more than five. Whether you're putting this on your skin for bronchitis or pain or you consuming it with your oil pulling. I don't believe that more than five is necessary for this. Because it is strong. It's really, really strong. Like I like I said earlier, I'm not going to even touch a drop of this. Because like when I'm making my products and it's time to incorporate this here and I drop it. I did, I, the other day, I did some 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 um, soaps and I dropped a little, a little peach, you know, because I was opening it up and I was putting it in the soap, like, right? And one little drop when it was trying to, when I was trying to put it back in. Touch my finger. I stopped immediately what I was doing and I grabbed a hunk of coconut oil to dilute that thing. If not, it would have started burning my hand. This is really, really powerful. Don't undermine this here. People that purchase this, they always come back and say, oh my God. 
I didn't know. I wasn't ready. I, I wish I would have listened. I'm like, yeah, don't be hard head. Oh, grandma said, a hard head to make a soft face. Yeah. A hard head make a soft face. Five drops or less. Don't overdo it. Don't think you he man or he woman or she woman or whatever you think. Stop taking that crazy stuff and listen. You hard headed. <laughs> Just listen. Okay, let me see. Um, first time, what about anything for cancer? All these things help you to, we, when we deal with cancer, we're dealing with really a sluggish lymphatic system. Now I have um, Be The Tea. Be The Tea on my website is a, um, a jumbo tea um, bag. And it is plentiful in soursop. Soursop is really good for cancer, right? But at the same time, all of these things really are. Because all I'm talking about is open up the pathway for that lymphatic system to drain. What you don't, what we really need to understand, this is a lifestyle though. And you could go to Sarasop and they have people. I've seen people on live. They had this lady with a big old belly. She must have had like some kind of stomach cancer or something. She was in the hospital and they were telling her to try Sarasop, try Sarasop. And she was like, I tried it already. It don't work. Like, right? So you got to understand this is a lifestyle. You know, and she was, when she said that, she was like, it, it didn't work. And I was like, oh my God. She said Sarasop don't work. Yeah, but, but, but here, check this out. She, she drank in a little Pepsi from Popeye's because she, she had got food, brought to her room. You know, she, but her lifestyle didn't change, didn't change. Just, that's just like the sea moss. People like, be like, yeah, well, I tried it. I don't see what the big deal is. But you still eating the same thing. So it's like, it's it almost like you, you get to a point where in the journey where you understand people didn't change their lifestyle. And you're like, oh man, the poor little sea moss didn't stand a chance. The poor sour top didn't stand a chance. So you got to really want to change your lifestyle too, you know? I agree. And their food tastes so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta want to change your lifestyle too to give the sour sop a chance. So, so, so I would say for cancer, yeah, incorporate the key lime. That's just like the astringent type fruit, the key lime in the grapes. You really low key could, I don't want to say that word again. You really low key could cancer if you eat sweeted. Don't tell nobody I told you that. You could do that all by yourself. Yeah. That's why That's why they don't have no sweet grapes out there no more. It's hard to find. Because it'll cure you. It'll totally... Don't tell nobody I told you because I don't, I don't want them to turn off my line. But you have the tools. Are you fasting though? Are you manipulating the energy though? Because this is what this is. That's where it's all happening at. And so when you go to the doctor, they doing blood work. No, it ain't about the blood work. It's about the lymphatic work. Cause your blood at the doctor, then you, it's so hard to find seed of grapes. Yes, it is, Molly Mo. It is international markets. If you if you have one in your area, they they'll have it. But it's so hard to find that thing that's going here. Now all of a sudden it's so hard to find seeded watermelon. Because they're going to clear out the lymphatic system. They're going to get rid of the acids. And when you no longer have all of that acid in your body, your blood is now alkaline. And you can live. Yeah. And you, and you reach the fountain of youth because it reverses it. And you're youthful and you're vi vibrant, and now you're conscious too. You just activated your God self, but they don't want you to know that. <laughs> no, because we can't. We can't have a whole bunch of gods wilding out at one time. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lifestyle change. Clean up your limb. That's where all of the toxins are in, wilding out in the limb. That's where all of this here is just housed because your limb been trying to save your life. And so it did a good job with your blood, keeping your blood pure, 
but now you gotta clean it and when you clean it you will be sickness and disease free yep that's what all that mucus at yeah what can hard water do to your body inside and out hard water calcifies your body that's why we I, that's why I feel like nothing is really being done about the hard water. You either be smart enough to get you a water softener or you just take the hard water, you take the beating. Like when I came out here, Louisiana water is hard, but Lord, Arizona water, it was like I was in the shower and it was feeling like they were throwing rocks from the mountains at my back. And so, and so I got, I just recently got the water softener only maybe about five days ago, but I had to. And my skin was so dry. I was so dehydrated. And, you know, because in the summertime, the heat is another level of heat out here. And so there are people out here that just take it. And they're the ones that just walk around with the cracky skin. And the people, then they have others that get the water softener. It's just up to you. But it calcifies even your, your faucet. If you look underneath the handle where your water is spilling from, you will see the calcification. Build up. That's no different from what's happening in your body. You're getting calcified from those things. So that's that bring you back. That bring you back what I'm telling you, you do with your drinking water. If the if the faucet water is calcified because it's hard and you buy spring water that's hard, hard enough that you can taste it. It's hard because it's hard for you to swallow. That's why a lot of people don't like well, drinking water because it's hard, like right? But when you soften it with salt with sodium bicarbonate now you have more like a saline solution well now the water is sleep slipperier it's softer it's able to digest and so all of the calcification now it, it, it is not lasting anymore because you just softened it and you're allowing it to flow and get the heck up out of your system via your kidneys via your urine i'm telling you the game i wish i had a me when I was trying to figure this out, and this is really why I do what I do, because when I was on my journey, I didn't have nobody, and I said that I was going to be that person to help people along the way. Now, you could ignore the things that I'm saying to you about health and wellness, and you could you could want to debate, you're going to be debating by yourself, because I know this to work, I know this to be true, because I saved my own life and the lives of those around me. That's how I know. Because I was the first person who I saved. <laughs> I'm so glad I got a you on my journey. <laughs> I know, right? Thank you for that, Molly Mo. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Redonda. Hi. Right. Thank you. That's pretty. I love those colors. It matches my outfit. Thank you. Hey, Glow Goddess. Hey, Seas21. Hey, Janice. Let's see. Thank y'all for passing through. Thank y'all for the gifts. That's so pretty. Thank you for the roses. I love roses. I love the tulips too. Yes. Peace, Mother Earth. Thank you. Majestic. New Orleans, Louisiana. I knew it. Born and raised. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Jerry. Is that Jerry Lynn? Yeah, New Orleans, Louisiana. But I'm in Arizona right now, though. But yeah, I'm from New Orleans. I can't even hide that. I'm going to be missing. This is going to be my first Mardi Gras outside of New Orleans. And I was asking somebody... Do they sell king kicks around here? I mean, I'm on a fast, but I was just wondering, do y'all sell that? I mean, do y'all have like Mardi Gras parades today? Because you know, Martin Luther King parade today in New Orleans. And you're like, no, I've never heard of those things before. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm in the state. I'm just, you know, when you're in your environment, you think everybody doing it. But I'm like, man, y'all, you never taste the king cake before? I mean, I'm not recommending you eat it because it's full of sugar, but Dang, you missed out. <laughs> you missed out. Yeah. Um, do you eat during the detox? No, no. Um, um, I've been. I just started uh, making because this is like my last two weeks of it. I'm almost at my ninety days. I'll be at ninety days on the 29th. But no, I don't eat food. I eat coconut oil. I eat coconut oil. I take about two, or three spoons of coconut oil. And in the beginning, coconut oil was the only thing that helped me with my appetite because I was really, really hungry. The first, like, 40 days, I was really, really hungry. But once I got over that um, point, then I was, like, taking coconut oil maybe once a day, twice a day, or just maybe for my energy. When my energy got low, I would feel like, because it's my healthy fats at the same time, right? It's my amino acids at the same time. So that's why I, I promote the coconut oil. 
Ooh, my stomach growling right now. I hope y'all don't hear that. Anyway, <laughs> but no, I don't eat. I've been um, taking smoothies these last few weeks to prepare myself, my stomach for eating, for the eating process. Because the first thing I really want to eat is a, like a loaded uh, veggie, vegan type salad with with some mushrooms and some some onions and you know some peppers because I haven't been chewing. But that's going to be the first thing that I eat. So in preparing myself for that, I've been doing smoothies. They're more bulkier than my teas and my little um, herbal um, my herbal teas and my little um, key lime drinks. And my, what else I was drinking? I was drinking mango drinks. I was drinking um, sour sock drinks. Um, look, I could show you some of the drinks that I didn't make that I got. I, this one here was really, really good. Although it had sugar in it, they had pulp of, the pulp of um, sour sock. I found this here on Amazon. So this one was really, really good. But like I said, it had a little sugar in it. It wasn't much. But it's that uh, stevia, stevia sugar, which I, I, I really, I didn't make it. So I would say to the makers, hey, stop putting stevia sugar in here. But who am I? I'm just a customer. <laughs> but this one here was really, really good outside of the juices that I was making. This was real, real uh, mango juice. And I got this here from Trader Joe's. So those are the two juices that I wasn't making, but I was consuming. Outside of that, my grape juice, that was from my seeded grapes that I was making. My cherry juice was from the cherries, the real cherries that I took the seed out that made a juice up. My um, coconut water, oh, they, they had some coconut waters that I would buy in the can too from the local little store out here. But I, I also was getting the real coconuts. Like I got like cases of coconuts right there. And I, I showed y'all on TikTok how, where I found that at the international market. But it was real, real juices that I'm talking about. I ain't talking about, you know, majority of the juices that I had was, was me making them myself. So, yeah, that ought to answer you and help you for your fast. I, I shared all of that. So, if you ever go on a juice phase, you'll know the kind of juices. The coconut water juice, the mango juice, the um, sour sock juice, the tart cherry juice and the spring water and I'm manipulating my spring water with the sodium bicarbonate and the um, pink Himalaya sea salt and outside of that the only thing that I was kind of digesting was the coconut oil now when I open up my young coconuts there's a little coconut meat that be on the top that I have to cut off and instead of throwing that away I would eat it too because it's coconut meat the coconut flesh and back to my amino acids that I need when we're looking for protein and things that's going to give us that, that, that energy in those calories, so to speak, we could go to coconut oil because that's the healthy little fat. It's actually a really good um, pre-workout too. Okay. Do you use your own soap on your face? Yes, I do. Tell me about Golden Seal. Um, no, I ain't going to tell you about that one because I don't, I don't think that one's beneficial. Maybe somebody else could tell you about it though, but I, I only speak about things that I know that, that ain't going to expire, that ain't going to stop working, so to speak. And so I only speak about organic, you know, things that are good for melanated beings. Like, I, you're going you're gonna to hear me talk about apple cider vinegar. You're going to hear me talk about corn. You're going to hear me talk about garlic. You're going to hear me talk about golden seal. You're going to hear me talk about echinacea. You're going to hear me talk about peppermint oil. Mm. You're going to hear me talk about carrots. Mm. You know, those are some of the things you're going to hear me talk about. I'm in Dallas. I miss Nola. Yeah, Jerry Lynn. Yeah. I got a sister out that way. Your skin is beautiful. Skincare. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I consume coconut oil daily now because of you. Okay. I see you over there. That's beautiful, Sabrina. I'm excited for you. Coconut oil. I'm telling y'all. I got some. You know what? I didn't have coconut oil, and I was going to oil pool with y'all, but I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that y'all got the just out of what I was saying without me having no um, oil pool in front of y'all. Y'all know that basically you're putting the oil in your mouth, you're squishing for about five minutes, right? You're not going to, you swallow that because now it's full of toxins because you didn't drew it up, like, right? Well, good. So after you oil pool... You could even do a second little concoction of the oil pulling, you know, the coconut oil, 
with the amethyst oil. Drops on that spoon, and now you can swallow that. Now you can get that thing down here. You can use it as a natural antibiotic inside of you. There's so many creative ways that you can do this thing. There's no one way of doing it. But I am the coconut oil today. So y'all about to see me consume some coconut oil. Because they bet. I ain't playing. This is life for me. This is my energy for me. This is my energy. This keep me going on this here fast. If I ain't have coconut oil, I don't even eat burgers. But one day... One day I wanted a big juicy fat beef burger and I don't like no beef. I don't like no beef. But one day I was just craving a burger because that's how empty my stomach was. If I didn't have coconut oil to go home to, I would have found me a burger. And then I would have regretted it and my stomach would have probably been hurting because my stomach don't even agree with that stuff no more. But cheers to some coconut oil. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, so the thing about coconut oil, being that it's a solid, you know, the warmth from your mouth kind of turns it into a liquid, but it takes some time. So it was melting in my mouth, so I couldn't say anything. Golden seal is a plant. Yeah, it is. It is a plant, but a lot of times our plants been manipulated and, you know, it's not shown to other plants. And then, so when you, when you like genetically modifying certain plants and have them latching on to other plants or other ingredients that's not organic, then now you have another concoction that's, that's lacking. That's all I'm saying. It's lacking, you know, just like, okay, like, okay, what's the difference? It's watermelon. They got seeded watermelon. They didn't, these watermelons, they don't have the black seed in it. They just got the little white seed. Well, it was made in the lab though, the one without the black seeds. And so the difference is that it's higher now in sugar, you know, and it's lacking, it's, it's, it's necessary magnesium, it's lacking its, its strength, its ability to detox me because now it has me full of sugar now. And so we, we got to be mindful of those things too. Hey, beautiful. Hey, ladybug. Thank you for being here. So, um... Can I put it in my tea instead of eating like that? Yes, you can. And that's what I normally do, put it in my herbal tea. Because as soon as you put it in your herbal tea, your herbal tea is hot. And it melt on top of it and it's soothing going down. And it feels so good because it's anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal, anti-viral, anti-microbial. All those good things. And in conjunction with your herbal tea, now the herbal tea, not, now the coconut, then got rid of the lipid coating on any type of virus or parasite inside of your body and the tea being that it's herbal it could do its job and fight them critters or whatever and get rid of that yeast you got a two for one going on right there that's a beautiful thing i do that too you got to really be creative about it and you choose logic behind it because it really be like just in the biblical text i take the foolish things to confound the wise and so you manipulate the energy like that if you want to but for me I don't have no tea brewing right now and I was just on this live in the coconut oil and this empty spoon was sitting right there and I was like, ooh, yummy. <laughs> yummy. And then that's weird because I'm on a fast. That's the only reason why it's like yummy right now. Okay, which coconut oil do you use? Well, I buy in bulk because I'm um, a product creator. So this bulk one that I found online, this is actually, well, this one here I keep in my kitchen. But my other bulks, you know, is what I use for like in my lotions and stuff, but it's the same brand. This came from a place called Earth Chef, but you might not need this big old bottle. I'm just saying, I got this big old thing because I use a large quantity of coconut oils in, you know, in my products. And so since I had all these gallons here, 
I just pull one of the cabinets that I use for my product and I keep it in the kitchen for me to use personally for like my teas or to eat. Or maybe if I wanted to put some on my skin and mix it with something. Or if I want to put it on my lips to hydrate my lips, because coconut oil is really good for that too. Let's see, did I miss something on here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you do pineapple juice for the fast? What other fruit juice can you use besides sour sap and coconut? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like pineapples. I don't like pineapples. I guess you could, but I don't like how pineapples feel on my tongue. They make my tongue feel some kind of way if I drink too much of it. And so I, I, I exit it out of my, my diet. But, and I honestly don't feel, this is me, cellular me speaking, like pineapples are organic to me, to my body feel, you know, from what they make my body go through. Because nothing else, there's nothing else that I consume that, that makes me feel like that. Like it's eating away at my tongue, so to speak. It really does something to my tongue. So I don't like them. I mean, I know you didn't ask me for it, but I just shared. <laughs> so what other drinks? Let's see what other drinks. You could do, I said mango, I said grape. You can make pear. You can make a pear juice. Um, you can make maybe tangerine seeded, though. Find them in an international market, seeded tangerine, seeded oranges. Um, I said papaya already. You want to just go for the fruit, maybe apple juice, but only get your apples from maybe an international market where they, they're they not so heavily sprayed and they don't have that waxing on them. But if you do get the ones with the waxing, all you got to do is boil you some hot water on the stove and put your apples up in the air and count down from maybe about 10 to 20 seconds and lift them out of there and rinse them off really good. Uh, like wipe them off really, really good to get the wax coating off of it with a towel. And then you can juice your apples. I really, because they spray so much on them apples, I really don't give in to the idea of buying apple juices, even though they say that they're organic. There's always like some type of pesticide in them darn juices dealing with them apples. And I feel like them apples are part of the dirty dozen, you know, them fruit that you got to really watch because they had to have some kind of chemical to keep the pests, um, the, you know, the bugs and stuff off of it. And they sprayed it and they were open already like strawberries. They're part of that, that dirty dozen too. So I'm really particular on where I get my apples and my strawberries from, you know, the things that don't have a, a shell, like a cantaloupe, like a watermelon, that's protected. So I, I get, this zone is real, I get that from, you know, another type of store. But you gotta be delicate when you're dealing with strawberries and um, cherries and apples and, and the blueberries and mulberries. I, I rather get that from the international stores, just me being honest. But any type of fruit that you really, really like, oh wait, Cucumbers! Oh my God! You gotta get the cucumbers. You gotta get cucumbers. Cucumbers are so hydrating. But here's the thing with cucumbers: you wanna cut the um the the skin off of it when you juice it with it. You don't want to juice the skin because they're so hydrated and they're so good for the um, lymphatic system and they they have phytonutrients inside of it. So when you like say for example you have key limes. This is, this is how your fruit and your food work now. You got key lime, they got the key lime family. And in the key lime family, you got seedy grapes. And then, and, and so in that family, I'm just using them two for now. You got seedy grapes and you got key lime and it's your family. They working as an extension, like, right? They help your lymphatic system, right? Okay. So then you got a family that, that can replenish or be high with mega antioxidants. Mega antioxidants can be like that, um, that oregano. Oregano um, and the uh, clove, like, right? That's mega antioxidant. But in the fruit kingdom, the mega ex antioxidants can be like in your your cherries, like your, your cherry juice, like your mulberry juice. Like, it's, it's mostly your berries that's going to do that. Your mega antioxidant, your raspberry, your strawberry, your blueberry. That's the mega antioxidant. But then there's also another family that replenishes your... Um, Vital nutrients like your papaya, you know, like your coconut water, like it's giving you your amino acids. It's giving you, um, you, you, um, your healthy fat, so to speak. 
it's giving you minerals, your magnesium. And in that family, you got maybe coconut water, you got papaya, you got big watermelons, you got melons, you got bigger fruit that you could consume that's going to heal your digestive system and replenish you. So what I'm saying in your fast is you want to make sure you're getting all three of them. You really want to build up a place where you're getting a plethora of antioxidants in, in one um, smoothie or one drink. And then a plethora of anything that's maybe uh, for the lymphatic system that's going to work as a stringent. And then a, when you get to your um, melons, when you get to your melons, you ain't got to worry about a plethora. Because you could just eat a melon and that could be a meal. You could eat a cantaloupe and that's a meal. You could, I literally, when I find my watermelons, that's a meal for my day. I buy it like two or three at a time because I know one going to be for me for the day. That's going to be my meal because I ain't going to need nothing else because it's going to give me all of the minerals. It's going to rinse me out. It's going to clean my lymphatic system. It's going to fill me up without actually filling me out. Right? So when you know that and you learn that about fruit and stuff, then you're really in a good place in life. You really are. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to get, get the understanding of the fruit. It took me a while. Yeah. Okay, so I told you the coconut oil that I use. I checked back over there. I'm checking on y'all over there. I see y'all. Thank y'all for like, y'all support over there. Hey, friend. How do you feel about 100% cocoa butter? Yeah, cocoa butter is really good. It's for the skin. Yeah. On your skin and lips. Yeah. I like cocoa butter. I don't use it, but I have before. I don't use it today now anymore because I make my lotions and stuff out of um, other butters, like mango butters, like um, like um, coconut oil, like um, shea butter, and things like that. I use that in my my right now soaps and lotions. But the coconut cocoa butter is good. Yeah. As I sit here now, sipping on me some fresh juice, some grape and raw cashews, I feel amazing. Look at you. Look at you. That's a uh, kit, Keisha. That's beautiful. Week three of my raw journey. Oh, okay. You're doing raw. Okay. That's beautiful. I'm happy for you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. Always needs the extra, extra clean. Yeah. Great job. Okay. Yes. Love them. Yep. Oh, so I made it. I made it to the end. Did I do? Oh, I missed one. Janice, I'm sorry about that. How much sea salt and baking soda do you put in your water to manipulate it? Okay, so I already did this. This is a water bottle. I already did a video on this. If you, Janice, if you want to find out some more how-tos, you should check out my, um, my other channel. It's called God is Just Be. I'm live actually on both of the channels right now. God is just be healthy. So I already did it already. But this is like what? The 16, right? Yeah. 16. Mm -hmm. 16.9 full ounce of water. I did it to this already, but I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I already have. I already manipulated it. But I'm going to put a little bit more. So, so Janice and everybody that's still here can see this here. That we just Michael dosing here. That we just Michael dosing. So this is my water bottle, and this is some salt. Let me put this on down so I can get a little pinch. We only doing a pinch. We only doing a pinch. If you can see my fingers, we doing a pinch. We microdosing. You see that? That's it. That's it. That's it. And then you get your pinch on the layer. I mean, not you put it layer. You get your um, sodium bicarbonate. Get your sodium bicarbonate and you do the same thing. I'll put some in this little top right here. And we're gonna grab a little pinch. We're gonna grab a little pinch. That's it. Little pinch. That's it. That's it. We don't need no overkill. If it was a bigger bottle, I'll be putting more, but we're just pinching. And so two or three little. I don't know how to measure that besides saying two or three little motions. <laughs> No more than three motions of one, two, one. So this is one, two, three. That's it. That's the dosage. Whatever that equates to, that's it. And then you drink it. <laughs> and then it's soft. And then it's alkaline. And then it has electrolytes. Yeah, if you turn a bottle of like electrolyte type drinks around, it's the salts. 
It's the cells that's making no sports drink electrolyte. They ain't even using white salts though. They put a white salt up in here. And they're throwing in some um, hydrogenated oils up in here. They're throwing in a little bit of sugar and a little bit of flavor up in here. But they're tricking you to think that it's electrolytes. The beneficial electrolytes. And it really ain't. The most beneficial electrolytes that you're going to ever find is going to always come from Celtic salt and peak Himalaya sea salt. So you can really, you can really skip all of that. Sometimes, you know, in my past, you know, when, because um, at one point in my life, my um, hydrochloric acid or my gut was compromised in my past, I used to just get a little pinch of salt and put it underneath my tongue and just sit there and allow it to dissolve right there. Salt to get electrolytes. And what's happening? What's, what's happening when I do that? If you're that type of person that don't have hydrochloric acid, what's happening? Well, my, 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 my tonsils is picking that up. It's creating like a, like a little saline uh, drip, so to speak, in, in my tonsils. My tonsils is part of my lymphatic system. So it's cleansing out my lymphatic system when I do that. It's immediately delivering the salt because it's under my tongue. My tongue is like the mirror to my gut. It's immediately delivering the salt, the saline solution that I had underneath my tongue to my gut, helping my gut produce hydrochloric acid. It's increasing the alkalinity of my body, my blood, because it's going now flowing through my blood system. And my blood needs to be alkaline, right? It's cleansing me out. It's giving me electrolytes because I'm an electric being looking for electric electrolytes. And when I'm getting hungry, I'm not looking for a hot dog. I'm not looking for um, no the donut. No, I'm looking for electrolytes to electrify my already electric body. I'm searching for minerals. Pink Himalaya sea salt have 80 plus minerals. White salt has been stripped of all of its minerals. So in, in, in correlation to the, um, the, the Gatorades versus you just, what you just did put in your salt or whether or not you, that deprived where you have to put it underneath your tongue, your pink Himalaya sea salt under your tongue, you still did way better than that sports drink will ever do for you. Because you went, you went to the source and you got salts that full of minerals, full of magnesium, full of iron, full of zinc, full of everything that your electric body needs to function. That's a beautiful thing. When you know, when you know these things, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed your comment. Let's see. So I got everything up there, but I'm going back to the bottom. Uh, Yes, I love them. Thank you, love you. Thank you, thank you. You're the best. Yep, yep. So anyway, that's the video. I really just came on here to show y'all how to all pull, but I had abundance of other things to share, and so I decided to share that with you too. So use it. Use it to make your quality of life better. Use it for your family. You know, thank you for the rose more and more. Use it for your family. Take care of your body. This is the key to it all. Once you get to know your body and get into a better quality of health, I'm telling you, this is my promise to you, that you're going to have highs and you're really finally going to be seeing them. You're going to have ears and you're going to finally be hearing. You're going to pick up on life is beautiful and that you're powerful and that you be individual have anything when you put your mind to it. Even with fasting, I suggest you fast. I suggest you fast. You ain't got to do no 90-day fast like I did, but for a day maybe. Practice that. That's mindfulness. That's you having, realizing that you have control over this body. That the mind, that your mind is all that exists. And when you understand that your mind is all that exists, you understand that life is happening through you. <laughs> and that you're the upper power. And that's going to help you on your spiritual journey. All this is, is me helping you to prepare you for your spiritual journey. Not where you are, where I know that you are going and where I know that you come from. Because at the end of the day, this is all about spirituality and consciousness. Be conscious of the things in your body, but also be conscious enough for you to know that, hey, I am not the body. That means I can manipulate the energy of the body and the body must yield to me. That's what I want you to get in your, in, in your, in your journey. Your body is a temple of God. Yeah. So you want to clean up the, the temple. Take care of God's temple. I love it. I could not have said that better. Take care of God's temple. The kingdom of God lives inside of you. All right. I got orders to go ship. I've been running my mouth. I got to go ship these orders. 
check out my YouTube, check out my website, www.sonoftheearthhub.org. But most importantly, check out yourself. Get to know yourself. All right? <laughs> Bye, Molly Mall. Thank you for being here, babe. Let's see. All right, I'm signing out. Let's see. What, what parasite detox do you consume? Only liquid? Parasite detox. Liquids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liquids to flush them out. Yes. Yes. Liquids. You gotta have liquids to flush them things out. Don't let them things die inside of you and you be sweeting up there. Wondering why your stomach just cramping. Because you got a worm up in there. Get that thing up out of there. Get it up out of there, God. You know how to do it. Key lines. Key lines. Key lines. Get it out. Okay. Okay, bye.